Hi, my name is Brandy. This is where I work. We cure all pharmaceuticals. The company used to be named after its founders, Joe Dodge and Frank Duck. Dodge and Duck Pharmaceuticals. But I convinced them to change it after my first week working here. We Cure All slightly breaks my rule, branding wise. But hey, nobody's perfect. Ugh, I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> Rewind. But first, I think you need a little background. At age two, no one could beat me at Hangman. At five, I won the 2000 National Spelling Bee Contest. I was competing against 12 and 13 year olds. 13 is the upper age limit. There is no lower age limit except, I guess, they expect you to be potty trained. I tried to enter in 2001, but was told that winners are not allowed to compete again. So the next year, I found this kid in our neighborhood who was a Photoshop expert and he made me a fake ID. A little hair coloring and a pair of rock star glasses and well. <laughs> The next year, I won the New York Times Crossword Puzzle Contest, and in record time. And since this competition was international, I suggested that they rename it to the New York Times Cross World Puzzle Contest. They didn't buy that, so I entered again the next year and won. Again! My winning time was a full minute better than my previous record. Oh, by the way, I was free the following year at the same time, so I entered at the last minute. They weren't pleased to see me. They wanted someone new to win. So I offered to compete blindfolded. Although not in record time, I did win again. See if you can figure out that one. Oh, what about my education? Well, after three consecutive crossword puzzle championships, I was offered a full scholarship to college at age 10. I graduated in two years with a degree in board games. Pun intended. Then a year getting my master's in game theory. I got my doctorate in mathematics because I figured one day I might develop an interest in numbers if I got bored with letters. That only took six months, thanks to virtual classes. So, after that, being a well-rounded individual with no personality flaws, I bought a 40-foot sailboat, took three years off, and bareboated it, which means it was just me, and sailed from California to Hawaii, visited all the islands, then winded my way to Tahiti, then New Zealand, and Australia, and on to Madagascar. And there, in Madagascar's capital city of Antananarivo, wouldn't you know they were hosting the International Scrabble Gamers Championship? I entered, and I won. I was down 115 points to the defending five-time champion, the great-grandson of the guy who invented Scrabble. I used all my tiles, which were a D, a G, three I's, an N, and a Z. By adding to the word ox, which my opponent had just played, and it occupied the two spaces at the bottom center of the board with the X sitting on the triple word score red square. My word, adding on to ox. Oxidizing. Which gave me a double letter premium for my precious Z and a triple word score as I fit snugly into the lower right corner of the Scrabble board for a whopping total of 120 points and a five point lead. The best he could do with his remaining A was to place it with my D in oxidizing with a triple letter bonus. 
for a total of four points. One point shy. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now we know our ABCs. Let's make brand names, you and me.